Possess a treasure far greater than gold. Twas a gift passed down to me from heaven above. Twas the gift of my father's love. And my father's love is strong. of worth as one of his own and I don't need everything this world wants to give cause I live with my father's love and my father's love is strong and true always Good morning, Holy Spirit, for the celebration of Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all fathers around the world. I said, declare in 1 Kings 13 7, come home with me. And refresh your soul. Fathers, there's an old saying, bloom where you are planted. In other words, fathers should make the very most of every opportunity to thrive where they are right now. And be pleasant and productive starting in the home making their homes places of refreshment for their loved ones including their children as a father remember that your wife and your children needs tenderness and verbal expressions of love Your children need your time and attention. Your children need the love and advice only fathers can give. Learn all you can from your parents. Children, are you a teenager? Remember that your parents are imperfect. But you owe them your respect. Are you a grandparent? Your prayers and memories and affirmation can make all the difference in your grandkids' lives. Yes, none of us is perfect, but we can improve. Fathers, should be the best version of who they are where they are. Fathers, what can you do today to make your home a more refreshing place for each one? Knowing that a family means belonging to each other, affected by each other, compassionate for each other, and concern about each other and above all interested in other friends to bloom where fathers are planted fathers need to be the best version 
of who they are, wherever they are. And that includes the church they attend. There should be a strengthening influence in our local churches. The Apostle Paul was intent on strengthening the body of Christ. And Acts chapter 15, 41 brings up a good question. Are you, as you go through life, fathers, are you strengthening the church you attend? Fathers strengthen the church. They attend regularly as often as possible. Fathers strengthen the church when they are warm and supportive in their attitude toward all other members and toward the leaders. Fathers strengthen the church when they volunteer for those church-related ministry the Lord puts on their hearts. Father, strengthen the church when they pray for their congregation and provide financial support. Beloved, when Jesus returned to heaven, he only ordained one organization to continue on his work on earth, his church. How wonderful we can do as Paul did, going around strengthen the church. Beloved, it is very, very important for fathers to understand that, yes, work is something that they need to do. And that is why in Colossians chapter 3, 23, the Bible says, and whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to man. Friends, no one has a perfect job. And perhaps you are not happy with yours. If you can find a better job, do so. But whatever we are, let's remember we aren't working under human employment. Fathers, fathers are servants of the Lord. Fathers want to produce quality results so that they will be glorified. In the process, God often puts fathers in certain places as his secret agents in offices, schools or factories. Fathers, bloom where you are planted. Make the very most of every opportunity to thrive where you are. Trust God with the problems and give him the glory. Remember in the products that fathers make, in the way fathers work, in the impact of their labors on society and on relationships affected by their work. They are instruments of God redeeming work in a broken world. And that is why they find themselves in a community that they are supposed to heed to their neighbors. Jeremiah 9, 4 declares, everyone take heed to his neighbor. But what has happened to our sense of community? Many people around the world live in high-rise neighborhood, but they don't know their neighbors. They live in suburb, but they don't visit one another. They live in apartments and their fellow Tenants come and go too quickly to meet. Yet God made fathers for community life. And he has a lot to say in the Bible about our neighbors. Proverbs 27, 30 says, Better is a neighbor nearby than a brother far away. Fathers, take a second look at how you are tending to your neighbors. Remember what Jesus said in Matthew 22, 39. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Romans 15, 12 says, Let each of us please his neighbor for his good leading to edification. On this Father's Day, fathers, that be the best you can be where you are. 
let's learn to bloom where we are planted to be a bright face and encouraging voice to our neighbors as fathers take heed to their neighbors they will make this world a better place in Jesus' name not everyone is your brother or sister in faith but everyone is your neighbor and fathers you must love your neighbor every morning god plants fathers in a new day fathers you need to bloom a little after all god sends showers of blessing he feeds you with his word and sooner or later his sun will shine down and warm your heart on this father's day if you decide in your mind to begin the day cheerfully your feelings will catch up with your choices and your energy will follow suit fathers why not say right now this is the day the lord has made be strong but not rude be kind but not weak be bold but not bully be humble but not timid be proud but not arrogant happy father's day and may god richly bless all fathers bye for now enjoy your celebration amen and my father's love is strong